Good day everyone! I want to introduce to you the Republic Act 9003 or what we call the Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000. So, what is the Republic Act 9003 or Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000? Ano nga ba ang isinasaad ng batas na ito? Ang Republic Act 9003 o Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000 ay isang batas sa Pilipinas na naglalayong pangalagaan ang kalikasan at mapanatili ang kalinisan sa pamamagitan ng tamang pamamahala ng basura, paglaganap ng kaalaman sa wastong paggamit ng likas na yaman at pagtupad ng mga programang nakatuon sa pagkakaisa ng bawat mamamayan upang mabawasan ang mga basurang agad na itinatapon. Layunin din nito na may paliwanag ang benepisyo ng pagkakaroon ng pasilidad sa bawat lugar na maaring paglagakan ng balik materyales o lugar para iproseso ang mga ito. Kaya ano pa ang inaantay ninyo? Ating alamin ang batas na ito na may kinalaman sa makakalikasan at praktikal na pamamahala ng basura. One of the salient features of Republic Act 9003 is the construction of MRF or Materials Recovery Facility. Do you know that Malinta Elementary School has its own Materials Recovery Facility? So, let me introduce and present to you the Materials Recovery Facility of Malinta Elementary School. The MRF provides school-based solid waste management information for teachers, parents, pupils, and stakeholders. The Congress has ordered the Department of Education or the DepEd that public schools must establish a materials recovery facility or MRF in a suitable open space within the school premises to promote environmental awareness and action. This is also monitor effectively about the implementation of the laws of solid waste management. One of the laws that monitor about the solid waste management is the Republic Act 9003 or also known as Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000. Another salient feature of Republic Act 9003 is the integration of the ecological waste management concept into academic curricular for formal and non-formal education. Just like what we're doing right now, we want to expand your knowledge about this law by integrating it to this subject. Moreover, is waste segregation waste reduction and recycling programs waste segregation means sorting your trash into different categories like food waste recyclables like paper and cans and harmful waste like chemicals to make disposal and recycling easier waste reduction is about creating less trash by using things wisely and buying only what you need so we produce less garbage in the first place. Recycling programs are plants that collect things like bottles and paper so they can be cleaned up and used again instead of being thrown away. This helps save resources and keeps our environment cleaner. As a student and citizen, how can you take action? First, reduce waste. Use less and avoid unnecessary packaging to create less trash. Second, recycling. Put recyclables in the right bin, like paper and plastic bottles, to give them a second life. Third, conserving energy. Turn off lights and appliances when not in use to save energy. The fourth one is planting trees. Participate in tree planting activities to help the environment. Fifth, learning and spreading awareness. 
educate yourself and others about environmental issues and how to protect our planet. And the last one is support school activities related to environment. Let's all promote zero waste living because everything starts with you.